in non-competitive format, an exhibition whose sole function is to delight the spectators and give the gymnasts themselves a chance to freelance and ad-lib and enjoy the exhibition. Among those you'll see today, Nellie Kim, who won three gold medals at the 1976 Olympic Games, and Nikolai Andrianov, the all-around champion at Montreal. It's gymnastics for the sheer joy of it as the Russian national team exhibits its talents in San Diego. Also today, an event you've seen before on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the Hawaiian Masters Surfing Championship. You see gymnastics, it's under highly competitive circumstances with judges involved and a lot of pressure on the athletes, but I really have to look forward to a day like today, Gordy, because we have no judges here. It is simply an exhibition a good time, I'm sure, will be had not only by the crowd here, but also by the athletes themselves. Well, by you and I, too, because there are some of the real popular veterans here. First of all, Nellie Kim, world Olympic champion. Svetlana Grozdova has been one of the most popular among all of the exhibition tours, and the, probably the greatest male gymnast to ever live, Nikolai Andrianov, and some men's acrobats, and they are unbelievable. Well, the first gymnast we'll see today is the popular 21-year-old Nellie Kim. She's getting set now to mount the uneven bars, an apparatus that provides a great opportunity for innovation. Got a new wrinkle coming up too, Al, and that's really exciting. I hope she makes it. We're gonna see her do a hect on the high bar, I hope. This is all speculative. Here it comes, a hect. Watch now, landing on her feet on the low bar. Perfect. Yeah. Now somebody to the high bar. Oh, she's working very well. One of the most popular gymnasts worldwide. Everyone just loves the pleasant demeanor of this young lady. There's a heck just not. All right, Nellie. Great routine for Nellie Kim. And the folks here in San Diego have responded so well to that new routine. Let's take another look in slow motion. On the heck, the timing has to be just perfect in order to make that landing on the low bar. She'll drop down, do a kip. Now watch an immediate summit to the high bar. Very nice exercise. Nellie Kim getting this exhibition in San Diego underway in marvelous fashion. We'll see her again a bit later, but right now, let's turn our attention to Andre Lev, a 22-year-old student from Moscow, the Russian national champion on the parallel bars, but here he mounts the rings, the ultimate test of strength. Boy, it sure is, Alan. I'll tell you, I am most impressed with Andre Lev on the rings because he looks so totally comfortable. Now, he'll be showing an, an international style routine, even though it is just exhibition, but he'll fulfill all those requirements. Now, watch this. He lowers to a cross. Now, sure, check out one arm and the other arm. It's like, hey, man, this is nothing. Just a little iron cross. Now, a little more strength, this time pressing to a handstand. Now, that fulfills all of his requirements. Now, bail out, take a nice high double flyaway. Yeah, very nice. Andre Lev with an excellent illustration of grace and strength. Lots more to come from San Diego. We'll be right back. Crowd looking on for this exhibition. Grozdova was a member of the Russian Olympic team in 1976. 20 years old, the floor exercise. And Al, at the top of the show, you mentioned performing just for the sheer joy of performing. And this is what Svetlana Grozdov is all about. Here comes a tough tumbling pass, a double full twisting back summy. Svetlana has, has not won an individual medal in world competition. She has only won those gold medals that her team wins. But when she gets on an exhibition tour, she really comes alive because I think that she feels the relationship with the audience, as did Olga Corbett. Now, you might notice the music in the background. Curious to me, I think, Al, Ave Maria. Balance. Dropping her legs into the splits really gives her more stability there, even though it makes it look more difficult. But Grosdeva feels this reaction that the crowd gets from her work and sort of sort of feeds on it. And what a pleasure it must be to perform and not worry about the judges, not worry about the scores at all. Of course. Now you might notice this carpeted floor. It's a new floor. It's called a spring floor. There are little tiny springs underneath thousands of them. And it doesn't give the athlete much more lift, but it certainly gives them a greater cushion. Floor exercise can be pretty painful, even though you're on a carpet. And this spring floor has solved a lot of problems. Now, spring-type floors have been used for a long time in competition, but just recently have the American manufacturers come up with one. Now, watch this ending. 
dismount ends in a handstand. Very, very unique. And listen to that response for Svetlana Grozova. And Al, as you indicated earlier, Svetlana is having a good time. Well, you know, Gordon, on this American tour, the Russian gymnasts have provided a lot of fun for the spectators, the folks in the stands. So I guess it was only appropriate that earlier today here in San Diego, the people here provided some fun for the Russian gymnasts, a visit to the San Diego Zoo. I think it was really special for them, too, Al, because, well, in past tours, they've always gotten to see Disneyland, Disney World, SeaWorld. They have never gone to a zoo, and I think the zoo today was really something special for them. Told me it's all happening at the zoo. Nellie Kim on tour with Ludmila Tereshcheva, the former Russian gymnast and now a national team coach and the throw she's given us over the years. An endearing smile for you. I know these two guys, but I don't understand a man like Nikolai Andrianov running around with them. Take it all in. Beautiful here in San Diego. That makes you want to take a few pictures, I guess, Al. And look at this. The background is just fine, but what we need in this shot is, is a little more class. Let's move over to Mr. Class, Nikolai. Mm-hmm. Look at that fella. Looks so gentle. Why does she wear that heavy glove, I wonder? Well, they tell us the gymnasts always watch their diet. I guess not always. Svetlana looks unfazed by this scene. <laughs> Meantime, I've got to imagine your heart is pumping furiously. You better believe it. Well, now you're back in more tranquil surroundings. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, let's go, yeah. That's sort of English for push Lee in Russia. Now he understands. Special harness for her. So Nelly Kim with an emu. 40 miles an hour. She's fast. Look, do you know why they can't fly? This are, these the, are their wings. This is the whole wing. That's it. The whole wing. <laughs> Well, I suppose that's what happens to those baby koalas after they hang around that ice cream machine a little too long. <laughs> now, here on the right of the screen is one of the all-time great and brave athletes, Nikolai Andrianov. Tremendous courage. Now, now watch him really challenge this. Uh oh! <laughs> The Russian gymnastics team enjoying the universal appeal of the San Diego Zoo. To a handstand. Straddle cut, now he'll press to a handstand. And out of his handstand, he takes another big swing move. Back to a handstand. And a nice high back off. Taking no chances, Al. He's saving it for the World Championship in Fort Worth. It's coming December. Nikolai Andrianov. We'll see him again later along with the other Russian gymnasts when we return to San Diego. But right now, let's join an event you've seen before on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the Hawaiian Masters Surfing Championship. And I remember him five years ago, Varna, Bulgaria, where he won his first ring championship. At that time, it had been dominated by the Japanese, and Andrianov broke through, and they said it couldn't be done. And then he repeated in the 76 Olympic Games. Boy, what a steady performer he's been over the years. Look at this. Drops down into an L cross. Very, very nice. The rings take a terrible toll on your shoulders. I once heard Dr. Robert Curlin, a great orthopedist, say, oh, the good Lord just didn't intend the shoulders to be used in this manner. Well, Nikolai Andrianov is getting tremendous mileage out of his shoulders. Watch this layout, double flyaway. Pike layout, double flyaway. That's a fine exercise. Nikolai Andrianov, as usual, putting on a great show. Well, since this is not 
a regular gymnastics competition per se, as we mentioned earlier. You're going to see a routine now that's just sensational, and you can see it only in an exhibition of this nature. The two Vladimirs, that is Vladimir Nazarov. He and his partner, Vladimir Alimanov, the world champions in acrobatic pairs. Watch this. They're great. And they really are the best in the world. There is no doubt about that. They knock out the audience is everywhere they go. And Al, if you and I are smart, we'll talk to them. See if we can't get them booked in Las Vegas. <laughs> we manage these guys. We quit this television. <laughs> now watch this. To one arm. Back handspring to one arm handstand. Now back up to a straight handstand. Now there's a spotter, hand foot spotter. And off to the floor. Now they're going to show you some things a little later on that I tell you, you won't believe. unison in their tumbling, even though they're greatly different in size, mm -hmm. they still keep it right together. Amazing, particularly in the case of Nazarov, who's so bulkily built. He's a real strong dude, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Look at the bulk in his legs. Great power. All right, now we're getting ready for the big stuff. Now this is purely to satisfy the requirement for tempo movements in their routine. Now watch this, a back handspring. Twisting back handspring into a handstand. Margin for error on that is absolutely zero. Now, it gets better. Alamanov goes into a one-arm handstand on Nazarov's head, and then watch what happens after that. Mm. All right, now they're gonna go down to the splits. That's not enough. It's gonna keep going. Okay, now watch. Nazarov will use Alamanov as a counterweight to lift himself up into a plant. It's unbelievable. There it is. Oh. Incredible. Alamanov, oh. Nazarov, no question, the best in the world. Can't even be anybody close. Look at that. Look at him, Al. Standing up all over the arena. Yes, sir. And that's not the first time that's happened. That climactic move is simply incredible. Let's have another look at that in slow motion. Well, Alamanov now has moved from a one-arm handstand down to a planche, and his weight on Nazarov's head actually functions as a counterbalance and helps Nazarov pull his feet up. Boy, it really is unreal. Al, I think it's a mystery to most people how acrobats can balance one on top of the other. And earlier I had a chance to put together... Well, Al, she's been an innovator here. Everyone works the balance beam lengthwise. There she starts off by working it sideways, a very nice, difficult flexibility move. Later on, she'll do lots of balance beam work sideways on the beam. Nice back walkover. Now notice her flexibility all the way through the exercise. She'll lean heavily on that nice rubbery back she has. And when I say rubbery back, believe me, ah, there she is at home on her hands again. Of course, a tour like this provides such a great form for the athletes to try new things. Indeed. Indeed it does. Now watch this. A walkover on the beam sideways. That's why I say rubbery back. I think it's a distinct advantage for her. And the crowd always loves it. And she rises to the occasion. She really plays to the crowd. Cartwheel. Now, if she's in good shape, we should see a one-arm handstand here. Yeah, she's going to go for it. All right. One-arm handstand. Okay, Svetlana. Yeah, she's smiling in there. <laughs> now watch. She's going to surprise you here. Look out. And... Ah. All part of the program. Is she flexible? Ah. Come on. Hang in there. Nice save. The crowd applauds are saved. Yep, they appreciate it. Very now, enthusiastic crowd here. Now watch this. She goes all the way over and touches the beam behind her head. Or touches down even with the beam. And she's such a pleasant person to be around. That helps, too. Obviously, the crowd can sense it. They know it. Here's the dismount. Svetlana Grozdova with another excellent routine. And listen to the crowd once again. What a great rapport has developed today 
between the crowd and these Russian gymnasts. And look at this. What a way to end the routine. Something extra special. Svetlana Grozdova. I swear she walks just a little bit pigeon-fingered. Al, it's been neat to be here for another reason, too. Gave me a chance to renew a friendship with an old friend, former Olympic world all-around champion, well, the great Ludmila Turistyeva. It must be a, a great change for you to go from one side of the fence as a, as a participant to the other side as a coach. How, how does that feel for you? It was a pleasure for me. I, I enjoyed becoming a coach. She says, I feel I've given everything to the sport that I've had. And it was time, I was a little bit tired. It was time to move on to other things. So I, it's a pleasure for me to be bringing up the new cadres of uh, the Soviet gymnasts. You know, uh, people often wonder, too, here you are married to Valerie Bortsov, the great sprinter. You're the greatest gymnast in the world in your time, and the, the rumor is you'll have either the world's fastest gymnast or the world's strongest track man. Which will that be? Они говорят, что так как твой муж один из самых быстрых людей в мире, а ты одна из самых лучших гимнасток в мире, он говорит, я слышал сплетни, что у тебя будет или самая быстрая гимнастка, или самый сильный легкий атлет. Но это подождем, время покажет, как говорится, и может что-то и получится. We'll see, time will tell if anything will come of that rumor. Thank you for coming. До свидания. Большое спасибо, он тебе благодарит за то, что пришла. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we go from a great star of the past to one of the present. What a way to end this exhibition here in San Diego now as we get set to watch Millie Kim in her floor exercise. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, Al, one of the things that's make, making her always so popular is the fact that she relates to the young people. You'll notice mm -hmm. that the music that she works to is really upbeat disco music. Believe me, she doesn't hold back. Watch this double back summy. Terrific. I wondered where I'd heard this music before, and the Soviet women's trio used it about a year ago to win a world championship in acrobatics. It's a rumor that Nelly was a bit temperamental, kind of a prima donna. Couldn't be further from the truth. This young lady is just so right on. What a nifty lady. And I think you can see it in her face more than anything else. And it's exactly how she feels. She just, she smiles all over. We see it not only when she performs, but in the piece earlier, when we watch the gymnasts join themselves at the San Diego Zoo, they're having a great time. So oh, wait. for sure. Nelly Kim putting the exclamation mark on the performance by the Russian national team here in San Diego. And we can look forward to seeing a lot of these athletes in the world championships, which you'll see on ABC this winter from Fort Worth, Texas. By Rick LaCivita. European Weightlifting Championship produced by Dick Buffington. Associate Directors Norm Salmon and Kurt Gowdy, Jr. Technical Director in San Diego, Jim Breeling. Be with us.